Good evening. Martin Hamilton-Smith is weathering a barrage of abuse and personal attacks following his shock decision to quit the Liberal Party and join the Labor Cabinet. His former leader has called for him to resign, while vandals have targeted his electorate office. The writing's on the wall for Martin Hamilton-Smith. His constituents are not impressed. I can fully understand why they did it. Martin made his decision, so he's got to wear the consequences. That includes graffiti on his electorate office in the prized Liberal seat of Waite, following his shock decision to defect to the Labor Cabinet. The last 30 years, can't think of anything that's more of a betrayal to a party. Some locals condemning the overnight attack. I don't agree, agree with doing that sort of thing, no matter what you think of somebody. But Mr Hamilton Smith's personal assistant isn't surprised. I think that's a fairly typical reaction. When I worked for Stephen Baker in the gum buyback scheme, we had bullet holes through the windows. Cleaners eventually washing the paint off, but only after police investigated. The new defence minister responding to the attack as he toured Techport with his new boss. Vandalism, look, it's just pathetic, really. Whoever did it, as I said, needs to have a cup of tea and a bit of a lie down and just move on because it's, it's sad. So is most of the feedback he's received so far. Probably more, uh, more unhappy, more unhappy calls than happy calls at the moment. And I thought the phone was going to melt down yesterday. Federal Minister Jamie Briggs expressed his feelings in a statement, claiming Mr Hamilton Smith can't be trusted. Can I have a crack at that first? Mm -hmm. Jamie's an emotional guy and he's responded to the disappointment by lashing out. I, I think he'll get over it. That's easier said than done for opposition leader Stephen Marshall. He's calling on his former political soulmate to resign. And we believe that there needs to be a by-election. Uh, the people of uh, Wait shouldn't have this decision, this very selfish decision, this despicable decision. Look, um, it doesn't work that way, constitutionally. And Eddie joins us now live. Could residents in, in Wait be heading back to the polls, Eddie? Well, it's unlikely, Kate. The only way that could happen is if Martin Hamilton-Smith himself calls for a by-election and nobody's really expecting that. Now, the awkwardness of this new arrangement is already starting to show with a number of touchy topics brought up at today's media conference, including the controversial car park tax, which, of course, the Liberal Party has been dead against since the get-go. Now, Martin Hamilton-Smith reaffirmed his position today that he's against any tax increases, but he'll wait for his first Cabinet meeting on Monday to discuss that matter, along with many others, ahead of the state budget. Back to you. Thank you very much, Eddie.